Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing really well. It's been a little while since I've done a video like this. It's been a bit heavy on the alcohol um, ink art. I've just been in the mood to create that way. So I've been uploading a lot of those and um, thank you all for the likes and the beautiful comments. I really appreciate it. Um, but today I wanted to talk about the Ohuhu alcohol markers. I have recently gotten a couple of new sets. Uh, one of them I did show. Oh, yeah, I don't remember when it was. I think it was during uh, the, the December Christmas haul. But this is the 200 uh, set of the Ohuhu alcohol markers. The dual ended and um, quite an extensive set, quite massive. I tried to put them all in order. Um, it's wonderful because they are sectioned off. As you can see here, there's like a little divider here um, that puts them all into six spots and that makes it easier to um, keep them more or less in color groups. Um, there's There are a lot more beautiful neutrals and opportunities for deeper skin tones. And I would say a pretty good um, variety uh, as far as the shade ranges are concerned. Overall, you even have some fluorescence and um, a nice selection of blues. Purples are always something that I seem to go through quickly, so I was happy to see there were some more there. Um, and they included... Um, these swatch cards, which was also nice. So I didn't bother swatching them out in um, one of my swatch books, but just so you can kind of see the color range, it would be nice if you could see it right. <laughs> Gosh. But yeah, those are some of those beautiful, um, warmer, more neutral earth, um, earthy tones. Of course, you've got a ton of gray tones. I have so many gray colors. I will have to show you my stash of gray markers. Um, actually, I'll probably make a video about that because what I've done is taken all of my alcohol markers from the different sets and tried to put them into one place and sort them by color group. It's a bit of a mess right now, but it's working, sort of. Anyhow, that's a different video. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this. So it was nice that they kind of give you the option of having your swatches along with the set. Um, there was this little brochure here, which was nice. So now you've got the different, um, the different kinds that they make, which is nice. Uh, a little bit about the company, which was, it was interesting to know because I, I had no idea. Um, and all that stuff. So that was, that was really nice. So you've got a spot here where you can put whatever you need there. Of course, they do give you the little sheet. Um, I do use cardstock, but um, it was nice to have that as well, and you can have that in there. I've got a Tombow marker in there for some reason, but let's ignore that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over this a bit more in depth. Um, it's a nice case. It's a bit more sturdy. Uh, it's got the top handle, and the, you have the shoulder option as well that you can remove. Um, but I found it to be much more put together than their older cases were um, because it's a bit more structured and um, it was nice. So yeah, I know this is available still on Amazon. It goes in and out of stock depending, um, but I'm glad I picked it up. <laughs> totally worth it. I'm already using them like crazy. Um, and if you are looking to get it, I do recommend it. It's a wonderful range of shades. So that is the Ohuhu Markers 200 set. And this is the, sorry, we appear to be stuck. <laughs> that is the 120 set. There's the blender of the brush tip markers, which I had been eyeing for a while. <laughs> so there is this side. Um, it also comes with a version that has the, oops, <laughs> the bullet nib, I believe, as well as the, the brush tip end. 
So there is that option, but there's your brush tip and it's really lovely. Um, these are, let's see, just to kind of compare. Sorry for the shaky camera. So these kind of have that sort of oval, whereas these are more round, but these have that, I guess, to maybe keep it from rolling or when you're placing it in the case. Um, yeah. Also, these only have the number, whereas these have, if you can see that, the um, letter number and the color name. So if that's something that's important to you, just so you know, um, again, as with the other one, they have the brochure and the color swatches in these cards, which is really nice. I think there's just two, yeah. Yeah, um, so you can kind of get an idea of the range of color, which is also quite nice. And um, yeah, I enjoy it. Of course, you've got that little sheet in here as well. And um, same as the other one, it is a more structured case where you have the dividers and you're able to more or less keep your colors um, in color groups, of course, they're going to move around a bit within their little groupings, but it's better than having them just kind of flail everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it does come with a blender. The camera's not focusing, but yeah, it does come with a blender, of course, and um, a good selection of, of colors. So they're really lovely. I am glad I picked them up. One more thing I forgot to mention, actually. The thing with the Ohuhus is they tend to rub off the um, the number or, or the name, do tend to kind of rub off after a while. What I did was I went through, and I don't know if you can see that, but I covered it, at least one side of it, with clear nail polish, like a fast drying um, top coat thing uh, in order to kind of preserve that. So if one, one side does rub off, I'll have that because it's protected. I have not done it with this one yet, but that is something I did want to mention. It's I found it to be very helpful um, if you want to hang on to, you know, the name number um, of, of your individual marker. So that's just something that, that I've done that I found to be very helpful. So that is it. I just wanted to share these a uh, couple of sets that I have picked up again I love my markers what can I say <laughs> um and these these work great for me and I found that the Ohuhus are actually really long lasting and um I haven't had issues with them drying out quickly or I haven't had issues with that yellowing that we sometimes get yet fingers crossed it stays that way who knows um but i haven't experienced that yet so that's that's always a good thing um and that is it i just wanted to share these um and i will show you i don't know if i'll be able to do it in the next video the next video i have to do is a tag by the lovely monet tagged me for the this or that tag, I think it was called. So I'll probably be recording that after I record a video after this one. <laughs> so yeah, sorry for the rambling, but thanks again so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.